Deal. No deal. The best way to be successful that I've found so far in my 54 years is to strike a balance between being too easy and too difficult. So let me explain what I mean by that. So some people are like always going to take advantage of. They say that if you don't know who the... Um, and I don't like this kind of terminology. I mean, not terminology, but conceptualization. If you don't know who the patsy is at the at the table, then it's you. Um, it's human nature that people do try to take advantage sometimes, so you do have to be strong. But on the other side of the coin, if you never let people in, if you always distrust people, if you always try to take every penny and don't leave anything on the table, then nobody wants to do business with you anyway. So it's important to be generous, but not generous to a fault. I want to talk a little bit about what gives rise to the spirit. So if you look at the people that mistrust everyone, it's from a feeling of not having enough. It's from a feeling of a lack of uh, security, a lack of confidence. And uh, they don't think life is going to provide for them. They think they, get, they, think they just have to take, 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 take everything. But, you know, life will provide for you. But by the law of attraction, if you push everything away, if you push people away, if you don't trust people, they're not going to trust you. You know, and if you uh, feel like you have to chase everything, like, you know, you know, the feeling of desperation, the energy of that when someone is trying to sell you, people don't want to be sold, they want to buy because it has value, but they don't want to be sold. So that that's one end of the equation. Um, and the other end of the equation is people that just have no self confidence. So they feel like they have to be people pleasers. I have one person that used to be in my life quite a bit, who is such a people pleaser, who's ingratiating. It's like they pretended that they were so nice. I say pretended because every time they would get your confidence, they would kind of like, uh, uh, you know, uh, mess you over. I was going to use a different word, but it's not polite. I don't want to use it. Um, so, you know, it's like everything was a facade for them. Like you couldn't trust them as far as you could throw them. And uh, eventually I had to basically get this person out of my life, just tell them I didn't want to be in contact with them anymore because they were so phony, so fake. And they, they're they like, sometimes it could take a holier than thou aspect to it. Like uh, I'm more spiritual, I'm more evolved, I, I never hurt people. You know, there's a famous saying that says, um, to tell you the truth, when people prefer something I sell, like saying to tell you the truth, watch out. Or if they say in all honesty, you know, watch out, run for the hills. Um, so people that, you know, are afraid to just ask for what they want, that's not a good life principle either because, you know, it's we're meant to be direct. We're not meant to be passive aggressive. Like a lot of people pretend that they are so nice, but they're passive aggressive. They're not overtly aggressive. They just, uh, they withhold resources. They withhold love. They withhold attention. Um, and I think that's a source of power to say no. I mean, I do have a chapter in one of my books about the power of no, but you cannot use no all the time, otherwise it loses its effectiveness. You only, no is only powerful in the context of yes. You know, like if you have a relationship where it's a give and take, and sometimes you say yes, and sometimes you say no, then no is powerful because it respects your boundaries. But if all you, if you're addicted to no, then no loses its power because after a while I just don't want to deal with you because I get tired of all the no's. So deal, no deal to me. And I, I think that's a famous show perhaps that has that title. I'm not sure exactly where I heard it before. Uh, I'm not familiar with the show, but um, deal, no deal basically to me means, you know, strike a balance between being, you know, too tough, too tough and not trusting anyone and um, uh, being too lenient and just let people walk all over you.